This is part four in an instructional series on how to design a timber frame in Fusion 360. In this video, I'm going to go over how to do mortises in the first bent. So let's get started. So in the previous video, we added braces to the first bent. And you can see that all of the joinery is done here. For instance, this through tenon. Um, all of the housings are cut. Um, if I hide any of the posts, uh, let's see, I'll hide 1A and 1B. You can see, you know, all of the tenons and reductions are done on all the timbers, but we do not have any mortises yet. So that's where, what we are going to do in this video. Um, so I'm going to turn all of this back on. And so we're going to use Fusion's Combine feature in order to cut mortises. So this is going to be very quick, very straightforward. Um, and we don't have to worry about what the active component is when we're cutting mortises or when we're using this combined feature, because part of the combined feature will identify what the destination component is for the operation. So I'm going to go up to combine. And in this dialog box, the first item is the target body. So I'm going to click on this first post. And then we can pick tool bodies um, for the combined operation. So what we're going to be doing is cutting. So we're going to pick anything that cuts into this first selected timber. So this tie beam cuts in and this post, all, I mean, I'm sorry, this brace also cuts in. And now we're going to pick a cut operation. So you can see that both of those cutters turned red. And another thing we want to do here is we want to keep our tools. Our tools in this case are, you know, the two um, tool bodies that we selected. So if I click OK, and now I'm going to go ahead and hide the tie beam, and I'm going to hide, um, I'll hide all the braces. Okay. And we can see that we have the housing cut and the mortise cut all in one operation. So very straightforward. All we need to do is repeat that operation um, throughout all of the timbers. Um, so one convenient way of selecting the same operation is to use Fusion's uh, little menu here. So if I, basically what I did there, let me cancel out, is I right clicked with the mouse and drew straight up. And what that does, right clicking on the mouse brings up this, I don't know what they call it, but it's this menu that depends on which direction you go with the mouse to make a selection here. And the very top one is also always to repeat the last operation. That's really the only one that I use. So if I right click and I go straight up in a line, I select combine. So it saves a little bit of time. So I'm going to work my way from right to left and I'm going to pick um, the tie beam as the next body to get mortises cut in. Now the tools <clears throat> in this case are going to be these two braces. Um, but interestingly, oh, there's the second brace. Okay. I was going to say I lost the brace. All right. Um, all right, so I'm going to keep the tools and I'm going to cut. Okay, so let me hide all of the uh, braces and we'll just take a look and make sure that we got our mortises cut. Okay, so we can turn our braces back on. All right, so next I'm going to get this inner post. I'll click on that, go up to combine. <clears throat> And I'll go to my tool bodies and pick this big tie beam. And the outside tie beam and two uh, braces. So those will be the four mortises that are cut there. I'm going to click OK. And then another thing we can do here if we want to make, if we want to examine those mortises is I can go to this component in our browser and right click on it and say isolate and basically that shows that component and nothing else so we can see we've got everything cut here we've got a housing and a through mortise um, we've got another housing here for the tie beam 
and we've got our two brace mortises uh, here and up here. Okay, so if I right click and do an unisolate, everything else comes back. <clears throat> okay, so our next timber is the major tie beam. That just has the two braces cutting into it. So I'm going to select. Well, that's interesting. I, I did another feature change here. So I'm going to have to go up and do combine. And I'll get my tie beam as my target body. And then I'll select my tool bodies. These two braces. Now you might see that if I select one brace, all the other braces hide. I think that's um, uh, because we did multiple instances of the same brace. But if I hover over where that hidden brace, temporarily hidden brace is, I get it as a tool body. So uh, a little surprised by that, but it still seems to work. Okay, so now I'm going to isolate my, um, let's see, my tie beam, which is it? And once again, if you have trouble finding stuff, it's a lot easier to go to your model, click on it, and then I see my little squiggly underline here and I can do an isolate very quickly there. Okay, so there's our major inner tie beam with the two mortises for uh, the braces cut. Right click, unisolate. Okay, so now we're in this second inner post. <clears throat> we're gonna do a combine here and we've already got the post selected. So we're gonna select our tool bodies, one, two, three and four. Oops, I unselected that one. Okay, so we've got, oh, I need this tie beam too. Okay, there. We've got our four timbers selected that cut into the post. We're going to keep tools. Cut is our operation. <clears throat> and we're going to click here, see where it is in the browser tree. Right click, do an isolate and examine our mortises. Make sure we did it right. There's our through mortise. Okay, uh, let's see. Unisolate this guy and move to the next timber, which is our tie beam here. Do a combine. Our tool bodies in this case are going to be just these two braces. And again, this one's kind of hidden, but if I hover over it, I see the outline so I can get it. And OK, and then we're going to find that in our tree. Do an isolate. And there are our two brace mortises. OK, almost done here. Unisolate. Then go to the post, which is our last timber to be cut. And I'm going to do a combine, select that post, select my tool bodies, which are just two, the brace and this tie beam. Cutting, keeping tools. And now we will isolate post 1D and take a look at our mortises. Okay. So you can see most of the hard work was done by making the reductions and tenons. And then with those in hand, we can simply do a combine and get all of our mortises cut. So it's really that simple.